In this video, I'll detail the next upgrade to the Mini Mill. It's an X and Y axis digital readout. The shorter scale will be used for the Y axis. The longer scale that needs to be shortened will be used for the X axis. These end brackets for the X axis need to have longer slots. You can mill them with a 3 16 end mill. I made some different brackets. The supplied brackets weren't the right shape for this type of mill. These brackets are made to attach the scale reader to the mill. The large bracket has two holes to attach it to the existing holes in the x-axis mill bed. These holes are offset to reattach the rubber slide cover. There are also some holes to install a couple of stop bolts and a countersunk hole for the other short bracket. To have clearance for the other bracket to fit, there is a milled out area. Assemble the brackets before attaching them to the mill. All the brackets should be loose enough to adjust while putting them in place. There need to be some holes drilled and tapped in the side of the mill base Tapping 832 is a good size. Some spacers or washers are used between the mill base and the slide brackets. Looking around to the back side of the x-axis slide, there is an area that is good to drill and tap some holes. The large bracket will attach to the holes where the rubber slide cover was removed. On the other end, two more holes should be drilled and tapped. The slide bar is attached with two screws on each end and adjusted parallel with the top of the mill bed. Then the large bracket screws can be tightened down. The two stop bolts should be adjusted out far enough to keep the scale reader from hitting the column at the back of the mill. Here's what it looks like all together. The readout gauges can be mounted up out of the way like this. You can zero these readouts anywhere you want and the accuracy is very good. With a digital readout you can drill exact bolt patterns and mill your parts to close tolerances. You should always wear safety glasses when working in the shop. If you have any questions or would like a detailed drawing of the brackets, email me at makingathing at gmail.com. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to support the channel. Now it's your turn. Go make something.